Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we access the web services for the custom object which is created using application composer. So let's get into agenda. So I will see what is which custom object which created and what are the details of it. And how do we get to know about the rest API of a custom object and also the table details and then we'll try to understand the get and post operation for that particular web service. So first thing is in this session, like uh, I just created a custom object called access customer details. And uh, to create a custom object, like I already created one other video, you can just check it out. So for now, assume that you already have a custom object and the custom object in today's session is like a access customer detail, which is having account number, active date, customer description, customer number. And these are some of the fields of this particular customer object. Custom object, okay. Now, and how do we get the web service of that, right? So once you publish, right? Until unless you publish, you cannot get the web service. Once you publish, what you can do is you search for your custom object, and then here you can just search it. I mean, when you open the when you open the application composer, here it shows application. It can be a CRM or ERP, and, or maybe you can select ERP and SEM cloud. Once you select that one, in the left side it shows a list of custom objects which are available, and right side it shows a search criteria. You always better search here in this place. Once you click, once you search your appropriate custom object, you can select that and you can just click on service describe. Once you click on service describe, it opens up a new window and telling the details about what is the web service of this particular custom object. Generally, the custom, the web service of your custom object will be always followed by this way, like a, considering your cloud ERP URL, cloud instance, followed by FSCM REST API resource latest, followed by your custom object name underscore C. And this is ideally your table name also. And here custom object, like when you create a custom object, right? It does not show underscore C, but when it when it creates a table, when it creates an object in the metadata metadata tables, it has the object name as underscore C. And similarly, for your web service also, you'll have underscore C. So this is your web service, a REST API name of your custom object. Once you get the custom object of your, like a REST API of the custom object, what we can do is you can perform all the CRUD operations. And this is sample data which I created. And you can just see one more slide where if at all, if you want to get to know the table details, what you can do is you can just get the get the metadata manager, which is available here in the common setup. You come out of your application composer, click on metadata manager, and then you can generate the report. And from the report, you can get to find out what is your custom object name and what are the table name in which it is storing the data. And from there, you can find out all the column names and understand whether the date, like which column is representing what and what data it has to store kind of thing. Once you get that one, you can get the BI report. I can create a BI report using the query. And now, yeah, coming to the major information, the main information of today's discussion is the REST API logic, right? So once you get the web service, what you can do, you can use uh, kind of like a third party tools like Postman or SOAP UI to perform invocation of a REST API. So in our case, we just got the web service. We just perform the get operation on your web service. Once you click on send, it will extract the data which is available in your custom object. So get operation is nothing but extract or select, performing a select query on your table. That's that's what get operation is all about. And similarly, for post operation, what you can do is one more thing before discussing on the post, when you create your custom object, you know, generally we have some primary keys on your custom object that nothing but ID, right? Which is auto generated and record name is a user defined one and remaining all uh, whole columns which are there that also user like uh, they are updated by default and the remaining are the user definable values, right? And when you are performing, when you are performing post operation, make sure that you don't enter what are auto generated values. You just enter what are the user defined values. In our case, I just mentioned record name, record number, customer number description and a customer active date and customer account number, that's it. So let us see the custom object detail here, right? So I'll just see this one. Yeah, you can see here, right? And this is the database table, right? So yeah, so here you can see these are the values. If at all, if you want to create a data, right? You can just click on create. I have customer detail name, which is, which is our record number, right? And then customer number description, customer active date, as well as customer account number, that's it. So this this particular first one, which is nothing but our account number. So now what we do is let us go to the postman and yeah, you can just go to postman. 
and here you can see right so you can just perform git operation on this one so it gets the data right and if at all if you want to perform the post operation what you can do is in the body area you just mention the data let's say okay i'll just mention uber publications 1229 or 129 record number six so once you click on send the data gets created okay so it says the user got created i mean the record got created now we can just go to the application and you can just reload hopefully it should show the data maybe you can just navigate to this application again right so the data got loaded so this how you can use the web services of the custom object and perform the relevant operation thank you